Then the first speaker this evening is Mr. Flip Benham from Concord, North Carolina. You have three minutes. Ms. Mayor, Council, good to be with you. What I just heard Mr. Mitchell read was just this, and, and, the, and the way that you received it was just a way of putting your middle finger right in the eye of Almighty God and saying that we are God. That we determine what is right and what is wrong. We do. And this book is just discarded. This book called the Bible. You know, it tells us in the Bible, just a word. Unless the Lord builds the house, those who labor, labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchman stands guard in vain. In vain you rise up early, toiling, doing all of your things. And God grants sleep to his beloved. Miss Kinsey prayed a prayer. I don't know if that was in the name of Jesus or not. I, she covered a pretty much a number of bases, and that was interesting. But there is one God, and his name is Jesus. And we're going to stand for him in this city. You started the ball rolling on February 28th with this whole transgender issue. You, Miss Roberts, purposefully decided that you were going to go ahead and do this. You were going to try and make transgenderism, sexual orientation, sexual identity, now as somehow a civil right. Ma'am, you cannot make a moral wrong a civil right. You have no right to do that. It's a moral wrong. God has said, ma'am, I'm speaking. have us three minutes. I'm speaking. And ma'am, don't interrupt me, please. You do that all the time. No, Whenever I, I speak. I interrupted the group to let you speak. Th ma'am, that's all right. They can say whatever they want to say. Because if God doesn't fix this city, if God isn't the answer, if God isn't at the foundation, you're going to have bloodshed coursing down the corners of our streets, our schools, and our workplaces. And you're not going to have a police force big enough to stop it. Because when you sow bloodshed in the womb and the three abortion mills here in this city, you're going to reap it in the streets. And our God is a God of truth. And these things happen. And when you cast God behind your back, violence always comes in to replace the void. That's why we've got in our schools right now, we've got metal detectors and policemen because they're trying to stop the gangs and violence and drugs that our kids are being turned over to. And now we've got this transgenderism nonsense. Listen, it's not a sin to be black. But it is a sin to be a practicing homosexual. It is a sin. It is not a moral right. It is wrong. And you need to say so. And you've opened up the doors of hell on our city. You and this council. And you need to repent. I'd like to offer up a reward to you that if you'll repent right now in the name of Jesus, there will be peace returning to this city. Now, Miss Roberts, what will you do? That's your three minutes, Mr. Benham. That's your three minutes. Your time is up. Thank you. <laughs>